Hi, Cooking with Dad here. Today we're going to make focaccia. Begin by mixing the dry ingredients. You can use your hands or you can use a spoon. Then add the water and combine that to form a nice uh, dough. 30 to 60 seconds ought to do it. And then you let it rest for five minutes so that the flour can fully hydrate before beginning the stretching and folding process. This is a process where you just kind of pull the ends, stretch, fold, stretch, and fold a couple times. Turn the dough over, let it rest for five minutes, and you do this process iteratively for like three times, four times. It's just stretching and folding and letting it rest. And <clears throat> you can see the dough is gradually gaining strength and that it is still soft and sticky, but you can pick it up without it losing its shape. So on the final stretch and fold, you want to pick this dough up and put it into an oiled container so that you can put the container in a refrigerator for 12 to 72 hours to do its bulk fermentation. So the next uh, day when you want to use this, you need to take it out of the refrigerator sometime three to five hours before you actually want to put the focaccia in the oven. And what you want to do is you want to put the dough into the uh, pan or baking dish or whatever you're going to put it in and try to stretch dough to have it conform to the shape of the pan. This dough is really soft, so it, you only have to do this once or twice, and uh, you can, uh, you can uh, do this. Uh, at that point, you want to put some um, olive oil and some uh, herbs on the focaccia uh, before, uh, before it, uh, you start to proof this uh, this dough. The proofing process takes somewhere between two and four hours depending on how you like your dough. Once it's proofed, you can do some final additions of um, salt or uh, and I put grated cheese and you can put anything you want, onions, uh, 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 sauteed onions that is, cooked onions that is, and you bake it in the oven at 450 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes. Once it's done and it's golden, you take it out, you cool it on a uh, rack so that it doesn't get all soggy on the bottom. And after it's cooled, you can put it on a cutting board and cut the uh, focaccia and serve it. As you can see, it's uh, pretty nice here. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this recipe. Cooking with Dad here.